Listen, y'all. I have been in a state of shock and grief for like a week straight. Every day I would tell myself, after sitting there and looking at stuff that nobody should see, really. Of, you know, innocent people, kids, children, people grieving, all type of stuff. I would see it and I would tell myself, today's the last day. Enough is enough. I would take a stand and argue with stupid people all day for the simple humanity of the Palestinian people. And before I end my day, I would hope, you know, as hard as it is to go to sleep, because I've been losing sleep, but I, I would hope that this was the last day and that tomorrow it's over. But then I would wake up and it seems that the Israeli fire of raids Masquerading under the fire of revenge has not been extinguished. In fact, they have killed more kids, done more harm, shut more people up, fired people from their jobs <clears throat> under the guise of uh, fighting terrorism. If a nigga's from Palestine and he wore free Palestine to show solidarity with people he is, Biologically related to. He did not say free Hamas, nigga. But I started to understand something. For one, in this world, you know, when you're born in my skin, right? <clears throat> You know, I got double trouble, double double jeopardy. I'm black and I'm Arabian, so I, I, I had it. <laughs> I know what it's like, you know. Your life matters less. Black people, you know, African Americans, you guys know this. You had to tell them, folks, hey, yo, black lives actually matter. They matter. No way. But hear me out. Israel is a racist country. Racism fuels the common thought. And they like to pretend that it doesn't, but it does. It gives, you know, <clears throat> if you're Jewish, you can just go to Israel and get a passport or citizenship. There's a lot of black Jews in this world who went to Israel and they might have got the citizenship, but they did not get the same love or inclusion as the uh, lighter Jews, if you will. They found out quick that this is a, the white man uh, American dream is for Americans, as they say. Now don't take my word for it. You know, they give forcibly, without their consent, uh, contraceptives to women, black women specifically, in Israel. I thought these were Jews, Ethiopian Jews, you know? At, at the United Nations, Israel been getting mad. They called for the UN, a head of UN or whatever, to resign because he said the truth. When you look at on TV, when they get an arguing uh, Israeli person, usually a pro-Israeli person who's not Israeli, who's just Jewish, he picks the side of Israel out of solidarity with the Jews, but. That's what, I, that's what I think, because when a person is from Israel, like an Israeli person, a settler, you know? You know why they get angry? 
and keep hitting you back with stupid shit even though they know it don't make sense. They act blind to the fact that 75 years you've been terrorizing these people, kicking them out of their homes and doing all that. You know why they don't mention that? Even though they both, you both know it. For one, they try to convince the rest of the world, the white world really, America, that they're the victim and you're the terrorist. One. Two is they get angry because they know they're in the wrong. But this is not about right or wrong. This is about keeping this Israel stolen land, uh, this, this whole project going. Because if you ruin that project, he got to go find him a home somewhere in Europe now. And the whole Western world feels bad for them. The problem is they take in Judaism and made it an identity when it really is a religion. If I say you did a war crime, I'm an anti-Semite. Is Judaism an identity, like a race? It's not a race, it's a religion. You might believe it today, tomorrow you might change your mind. I can't change my mind and stop being black. How many of them 10,000 you, people you killed and still keep going killing are, is Hamas? Answer me. And when are you going to have enough? I've... <laughs> there's been times where I wanted to take revenge. And there's been times I did take revenge, physically or whatever. But the fire of revenge ends quick for me. This doesn't seem like revenge. This seems like eradication you're trying to push them and they made it clear that they want to push them there's one thing that's been bothering me when you come on the opposite opinion and you get met with anger and stuff you're often called Hamas or Hamas supporter or why don't you condemn Hamas we heard that a lot right And to keep the rest of the world from acknowledging these human beings executed in mass out of the hate of the Israeli people for them, they're not Hamas. Hamas is safe. So safe they got your hostages safe with them. I don't see CNN mentioning anything about them human beings being... Uh, why? Because they're terrorist people, savagery, barbaric, ooh, Neanderthals. No, motherfucker. You were in Europe, you were living in caves. No disrespect, I love white people. I, I date, like, I would, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with white people. But the truth is the truth. When y'all was living in sad times, you didn't know what's what. The quote unquote savage, barbaric people, you know, you use algorithms. Algorithm, that comes from al khwarizmi Algebra, mathematics. Algebra, that comes from Islamic golden age. Yeah, and much more. So now we're not stupid barbaric. Nigga. Truth be told, you speak about being progressive all the time. And these people are savages. First of all, not any opposition to you is Hamas. There were secular options. Why did you support Hamas and fund them? One, as a barbaric savage that I am, I'm about to watch a non-barbaric savage, Israeli white man, tell me why I shouldn't care for what they're doing, this genocide they're doing. Let's watch. Jew. All of these things are way too Western and modern for us. 
Western and modern, he said. No, no, no. Notice the language. He said American. It's like he's trying to scare Americans. He's like, oh, you can't get in if you're American. Let me tell you something about these. All terrorist organizations. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not a. I never been to Hamas, nor did I. I wouldn't be accepted really much there. <clears throat> but here's the deal, bro. First of all, there were secular options in the Palestinian government. Still is. But these voices never get heard. They get suppressed by Israel because they're too smart to deal with. Too modern for us? Ooh, 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 blah, 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 like we're Neanderthals, bro. Maybe we should get with the Western progressive white man. Now, answer me this, progressive guy. First of all, I am all for the Palestinian people. I don't mind women with shorts. I got two sisters. One of them wear hijab, one of them don't. I let them choose. That's fine with me. Just because you support the truth doesn't make you a, you know, <clears throat> a ooh, 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 bah, 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 too modern for us. Second, and again, not that I support terrorism, but a fact I do remember, I remember a character by the name of Jihadi John during the ISIS times. So during these days, <clears throat> this is kind of why ISIS was so bad because you had Americans and all type of white people going and recruited. So that's two. Three years, I'm pretty sure you can join if you're not Muslim, as long as you're genuinely fighting with them against the same enemy, <clears throat> which is the Zionist Jew, not just any Jew. So even if a Jewish dude went up to him and told him, hey, oh, bro, huh? I mean, I'd assume so. There, they need it, you know? Second, fourth, I think, I don't know any woman with shorts that will go and join a militant fight against you, bro. Only you recruit women. And let's speak about, since, you, since we're so ugu baga baga, Mr. Progressive Western, in 2023, the progressive guy, the modern progressive man, so progressive, He's so progressive that he's cool with genocide on whatever side. He's so progressive that he is cool with children getting slaughtered in mass. He sees it and says, okay, next, get, do more. That's progressive? He's so progressive that he is spreading lies about history to keep his existence. So progressive. He's so progressive That he, um, he's so progressive that he does not acknowledge war crimes or the Geneva Convention as if they respect that. He's so progressive that he is okay with water, water, food, Food and electricity in 2023. Water, food, electricity being cut off off an entire 2.2 million people. Very progressive. <clears throat> and these so called terrorists took your hostages and returned a few of them. They returned two females just to prove to, to, to the world that nobody's getting raped out there. They are rapists. Uh. Nobody raped them two women. Go listen to their testimonies. Not a scratch on them two ladies. And one of them was hot. She was beautiful. If somebody wanted to rape, they had the opportunity to rape, but she didn't get touched. They returned her so safe, and they returned extra hostages out of humanitarian reasons because they were old as fuck. 
They needed medicine and shit. That's the bad guy. The terrorist. Ugu Baga. And you, progressive man? You killed everybody. Matter of fact, let's speak about the hostages you got. The 4,000 prisoners that you have in your progressive country who are locked up for, 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 for some, sometimes with no charges, no fair trials. And when you do give them fair trials, here's your progressive laws. I don't want to watch the rest of this shit. 30 years for incitement. Hmm? That's a progressive first world country? But you don't understand. We have freedom of speech and democracy. Huh? You cannot mention the Nakba in Israel by law. Just like you can't mention Tiananmen Square in China, Mr. Progressive. And just because you support the Palestinian people and you acknowledge your crimes who did not start on October 7th, they started 75 years before. And they weren't just against Palestine and your land that you stole and the progressive guys who was given He's like, do some research. I did my research before you were born, pussy. United Nations gave you a border. It was unfair, but they gave you a solution. As unfair as it is, the Arabs accepted it. You said you accepted it. You can stick to You can even stick to that. Still going harassing people, not military. Just random white dudes with, with guns going to people, kicking them out their homes. What? What police can he call? There is none. There's only the Israeli army who comes and backs up the white man, of course. The random white dude with a machine gun. No, not military, not nothing. There's a video of a dude peeing on a dead body. To the rest of the world, I don't care if you were in Afghanistan. If you see a dead body, you call the police. Right? Why is a random Israeli dude peeing on dead bodies? Like it's like it's just an animal. That's a human. But no, it's okay because that human is Hamas. Hmm? No, he's not. Mr. Progressive? The only thing you got progressive at and you're so advanced in is the weapons of mass destruction you're hitting the people with, a defenseless people. You claim it's a war. A war is a war between soldiers. A soldier shooting, another soldier shooting back. That's a war. But these people don't have soldiers. If they did, you'd call them a terrorist. They don't have guns. They're not allowed to be militant. This is a prison. You call it, oh, we, we withdrew from Gaza. Then why do you control the, the, the drinking water, the electricity, the internet? Why? Progressive. And if you're so progressive, oh, progressive, why would you cut it off? War or not? If you're so progressive and you're so the good guy, let in the people who seek refuge, who have nothing to do with the war. In your country, as refugees, you're progressive, aren't you? I'm just asking questions, bro. If I asked an Israeli dude in the UN or whatever, they'd get angry. Why do you get angry, Mr. Progressive? Hit me back with points to shut me up. Since I'm uneducated, as they say in the comments. I'm uneducated. Since the B stands for bonehead, give me facts to shut me up. That makes sense. You don't have any. But they murdered babies. 
The fact was refuted and disputed by the White House. David Ben Zion, an Israeli murdering soldier, lied about it. Why would they lie? Because they know they're in a fucking stolen land. They don't want you to feel bad for the other side and understand the truth. So yeah, they'd say anything. <sighs> you took all them weapons, the so, the so advanced weapons, and they're talking about dropping gas, you know, phosphorus gas, the illegal ones. And they're gonna, trying to drop it. They're not shy of it. On the tunnels to, to hurt so, uh, Hamas. Don't let them. You and I do not allow them to drop illegal weapons. This will, this, this will be the stick to break the camel's back. Because this been 20 days, 21 days. Why won't you condemn them? Nigga, it's October 28th. I condemn the genocide on innocent people. Defenseless people. He took all them weapons and dropped it on people with no army to return and defend. They don't have an iron dome. They don't have anything. They don't even have the world's sympathy. He dropped all them weapons on them innocent people with no defense. And now you want to drop phosphorus gas on a terrorist? You had 20 days to kill a terrorist. You didn't hurt any terrorists. You hurt innocent people and still going. Now you want to drop your gas on a terrorist? Don't let this one pass. The, the phosphorus gas is illegal. But if we can't respect international law, we're going to respect international bullets. Fuck Israel. I support whoever wages war on this filth. If it was the UN soldiers, if it was Saudi Arabia, who I have hope in, or Qatar, or anybody, and if it was Hamas, because Hamas kept soldiers, kept hostages alive with no scratch, returned some for humanitarian reasons, and all type of nice things, did not rape women. But you, you raped. You peed on people. You just, there's a trend on TikTok, you disrespecting people in the midst of suffering, instead of saying, stop the genocide. I'm just pointing out the obvious. And if you stood with them, maybe it's out of hate, maybe it's out of ignorance, but you have blood on your hands. And when you go in spooky houses, ooh, <laughs> Halloween, I don't know if they summon spirits or what, but there's the spirit world is crowded right now. And they will hunt you all. I hope they hunt you. Israeli soldier. Why did you kill me? Yeah, nigga, try sleeping good ever again. There's nothing progressive about anything going on. And if anybody get angry, tell them don't get mad. Debate. Can you do that progressive? And not anybody who is against you is a Hamas supporter or a terrorist supporter. These are human beings who deserve to have their own land with its own army to defend them. So I cannot look at their army as a terrorist. Especially after what I've seen. All these bombs dropping on people with no defense, no iron dome, no soldier, nothing. You're just having fun, free for all. As bullying. And you did not have enough. 10,000 people, not counting rubble, under the rubble. All this gore and more, you're still going. 
and you still want to do more, and you're talking about using gas as if it's legal. It's not legal. If you use these chemical weapons, because obviously you're not killing any single terrorist. You're killing innocent civilians. So why should we allow you to use your gas on, on, on? You had all these bombs you dropped. Now you want to use gas? Smash the subscribe button and share this.